Hi friends, welcome to Startup Talk series. In this video, I'm going to talk about a company called Ops Level. Ops Level is a platform for engineering team to manage their microservices in production. Let's see more details about Ops Level. Now let's see how exactly Ops Level is helping the engineering teams. As I said, Ops Level is a platform which helps engineering team to manage their microservices. For example, you have a startup and in startup you have multiple microservices running in production. So in order to give an excellent service to our customers, it has to be monitored and managed well. So as you know, DevOps means so each team will have a set of microservices and this team is responsible for building the services and they are also own the service. So you build it, you own it. So in this case, Ops level will be really helpful for engineering team to manage their microservices in production. Say there is an engineering team, a new member joins the team and they have a set of microservices. Now the new member will have questions like how many services we have, what exactly these services do, where is the repository and what are the programming languages used in this, whom to contact if there is any problem and what are the technologies used in this particular microservice. So these are the metadata for a microservice. We have to manage this metadata about the microservice in a single place so that it's very easy for accessing. That's where ops level is helping the engineering team to configure the metadata in a single place. So ops level can integrate with other tools like GitLab, Kubernetes, Slack and PageDuty and many other DevOps tools. What about the pricing model for Ops Level? So Ops Level is priced on per service basis and they provide annual contracts. Here you can see some of the Ops Level clients. Now let's see the technology stack used to build this Ops Level application. Looks like for the backend they're using Ruby on Rails and for the frontend framework Vue.js. GraphQL helps the UI or the frontend to talk to the backend. MySQL is for the database and Redis is for cache and Terraform is infrastructure as a code where you can store the infrastructure and manage them in the repository and Kubernetes is for orchestration and Golang is for operational tools. Looks like they deploy this application in AWS. So these are the list of technologies used in ops level. Friends, I've shared very basic information about ops level. Hope this small information is helpful. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to interview.channel. Thank you.